On day one, I spawned from the ashes of a volcano as a baby fire phoenix. I started hearing a bunch of happy cheering and looked around. Down below were some gem golems. Without warning, a gorgon popped in. She started killing a few of the golems. I rushed in to stop her as fast as possible. Stop! You can't kill them! Stop! <laughs> stop you! I will. I am Gorgana, queen of the Shadow Realm. I will smother this earth in darkness and finally end your phoenix cycle by piercing you with Excalibur, the strongest iron sword in the land. The area around us turned into dark materials. She was corrupting the place with shadows. You can't do this. I won't back down without a fight. Gorgana attacked me with her powerful poison abilities. I fought back with my flamethrower ability and tried to dodge her blows. Luckily, I had a regeneration power. Power, but it wasn't enough. She was far too powerful, even with my regeneration. I had no choice but to escape when I had the chance. On my second day of being reborn, I flew to the top of a nearby jungle. I was still extremely upset with the circumstances. Ugh, why am I so weak? I angrily shot a few fireballs without thinking. I hadn't realized my mistake until a fire had already ignited in the forest. Ah, oh no, no! I was regretting my tantrum already. What have I done? <laughs> I heard a creature nearby choking on the smoke. Please, I need help. Hang on, I'm coming. I rushed towards its cries and finally spotted a cute little monkey. It looked scared and lost with flames on either side of it. I'm here, follow me. I saw where the path out is and can lead you there. Oh, okay. <laughs> The critter started to follow me, and I managed to lead it out of the fire. But just when I thought we were safe, we ran into a huge hydra. What's this? Spicy chicken for dinner and a snack for later. Beep, nope, not a snack. Back off, worm. You dare call me a worm. The hydra attacked and spit acid at me. I tried my best to fry the snake with my fireball, but his scales were resilient and hard to burn. He continued to fight me and even managed to hit me with a bit of poison. I knew I couldn't win at this pace and quickly turned to the little monkey. Forget it, we need to get out of here. We ran away from the hydra as fast as we could. Eventually, we managed to distance ourselves from both the hydra and the fire. I'm so sorry. That fire was all my fault. I started it accidentally and couldn't manage to put it out. I guess that snake was drawn to the sound of panicked animals when it started too. So you burned my home? Not only that, but I was so happy to finally eat my favorite berries today and they're gone too because of you. But you did save me. So thank you for that. My name's Juby. Nice to meet you, Juby. I'm Bronzo. I apologize we didn't meet in better circumstances. Well, if you get me more berries, then I guess I'll forgive you. Deal. For now, let's just get far away from here before any more trouble shows up. Juby and I were still traveling on day three and we're trying to plan where to go and what to do. I had been telling them what happened along the way. Well, I could definitely see why you were so angry, but you gotta get your powers under control if you're gonna stop that crazy lady. Trust me, I know that. Wait, is it about to rain? Sure enough, the sky became cloudy and rain began falling on us. Ow, I, 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 don't, I don't feel well. The rain caused me to have a weakness effect and was starting to hurt as well. Uh-oh, let's get you out of this water. Go to that cave right there. Juby helped me find a dry place that was shielded from the rain. They then built me a shelter while I was recovering. They made the base in the style of a birdhouse, including a spot for me to land and take off from. They used fire resistant blocks for the inside so I couldn't accidentally burn it down and they made it big enough so I wouldn't be cramped inside. The weather cleared just as they finished building. Jeez, of course it stopped raining once I'm done. Oh well, it's safe to come out now, Bronzo. Thank you for doing that, Juby. I'm feeling much better Better, but I'm getting hungry. Oh, no problem. I don't know how to hunt. Let's go. I followed Juby into the woods. We saw some wild cows grazing not too far from us. Okay, so you need to be quiet and get the jump on them. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Now then, go in three, two, one. I got to blazing the cows before Juby got to one and happily gathered our roasted meal. Cake tonight, baby. 
I gave some to Juby and started to eat. With my stomach full, I grew to a full-sized phoenix with 10 hearts. Whoa, you look awesome. You're becoming more powerful. I really am. This is great. Uh, let's get back home for now and get some celebratory rest. I like that idea. We headed back to our makeshift home, blissfully unaware of a certain hydra observing us from the shadows. We arrived back at the base on day four to find one of the gem golems waiting there. Ah, I found you. Thank goodness. How are you here? I thought you were all killed by Gorgana and her shadows. I was lucky enough to escape them just in time, but sadly, others in our home were all in shadow. My name is Ash. We waited for you for 500 years already. I wasn't ready to keep waiting again. I hope I'm not intruding. 500 years? Yeah, I can understand that. And it's no problem at all. You're more than welcome to stay here. Feel free to build anything you like. Meanwhile, I need to figure something out. I can help you build too if you'd like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that would be wonderful. I let Juby and Ash get to work and I flew away to head towards my birthplace. It can't be all gone. It can't. Unfortunately, Ash was right. Everything was completely shadowed and there were shadowy creatures roaming the land. Thankfully, there was no sign of Gorgana. How could she do this? That monster! Some of the shadow creatures heard me and were already aggressive. Oh, oh, yeah. I flew up and dodged while fighting back. However, if I flew down just close enough, they could still hit me. And they packed a punch. Leave this place alone! This place ours now! I managed to defeat all the nearby shadows, but more of them began to spawn immediately after. I flew up out of their reach and watched from above. It's no use. This place is gone for good. I flew around on days five through six, thinking of how to stop Gorgana. My thoughts were interrupted when I saw the village under attack by some more shadow fiends. Those poor villagers. I can't let them die too. I swooped in and combated against the monsters. There weren't as many and I managed to take them out pretty fast. Although, I ended up lighting the village on fire in the process. Oops, not again. You dumb bird. You made it worse. I'm sorry. I was trying to help. Scram, fire vermin. Dumb bird. Fire vermin. Puny chicken. Nobody said puny chicken. No, but you were probably thinking it. I fled from the village in shame. Man, I really need to learn to control these powers. I don't mean to set places on fire. I'm just trying to help. As I was flying, I saw a large forest fire in the distance. Hold on, I didn't start that fire. This time, it really wasn't my fault. Woohoo! Wait, not woohoo, this is bad. I should probably go help. I flew over to it and looked for any signs of life. That's when I found the center of the fire. Vanish. Just like that, the creature disappeared and all the flames went out at once. It left behind some kind of note. It read, follow the directions. The sun will always rise. It also had some random numbers. What the heck is all this cryptic stuff? Are the fumes from the smoke making me hallucinate? Am I dreaming? No, I'm definitely awake. My dreams wouldn't have math in them unless, oh no, maybe this is a nightmare. That's when I realized those numbers weren't math. They were coordinates. With no other clues at my disposal, I had no choice but to follow them. On days seven to eight, I continued to follow the directions of the coordinates I found. Eventually, I made it to an island floating in the sky. I saw some fire creatures playing around on the island. They seemed perfectly happy and at peace. Where am I? You are precisely where you need to be. Wait, you're the being that disappeared earlier. Correct. I am Helios, the sun god. You have much yet to learn, Bronzo. What is this place? And who are these creatures? I have so many questions. Curiosity is to be expected. But let us not focus on trivial things like that for now. You must begin training to defeat the darkness that arises. The darkness? Wait, do you mean Gorgana? It goes beyond that. She is but one of the creatures who have escaped the shadow dimension and traversed into our realm. You're telling me she's not the end-all be-all? Indeed, there are more like her. We've managed to stop them before, but this time they were able to make it true. Man, I couldn't even defeat her. How am I supposed to beat all the others as well? Guess I'll really need to get a lot stronger. We will meet tomorrow to begin your training. You can stay here. Get some good rest. You're going to need it. I left and got ready for bed.
On days 9 through 10, I was trying to sleep, but I was having trouble. Ugh. I headed out of the room to get some fresh air. Outside, I heard a weird slithering sound. Huh? Was that my stomach? Maybe I need a midnight snack. That's when I saw... Well, 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 looky what we have here. You! You're not a midnight snack! You're the Hydra who tried to eat me! That's... me, alright. Wait, do you always talk like that? You know, the thing with your asses? Yes, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Can you say, she sells seashells by the seashore? Shut up! <clears throat> Surely you remember her as well. Suddenly, Gorgana appeared! So, this is where you've been hiding. Hmm, I should have known. Gorgana! Wait, you don't do the S thing, but you're kind of a snake, right? It's a symptom of my medical condition. You're being very insensitive. You two need to leave before I call for help. Help? And who would you call? I've turned all the pathetic creatures you call friends into my shadow minions. That was when a bunch of shadow creatures came out of nowhere. No, no, no! This can't be! This is the end for you. Bye-bye, little birdie. Just before she could attack, I woke up in a cold sweat. No! <sighs> I looked around my room, and there was Helios. Bonzo, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I guess it was just a nightmare, but it was even worse than a math nightmare. I saw Gorgana and the Hydra. She is penetrating your mind. You have to stay strong, Bronzo. We must begin our training at once. On days 11 through 13, Helios and I arrived at the training area. Now, show me all of the abilities that you have mastered thus far. I shot fire into the air to showcase my flamethrower power. Go on, do another. No, no, that's it. Really? That's all? Oh boy, you have much to learn. Now, do as I do. Power of the sun, channel through me. Just like that, Helios released an even larger fire blast. Okay, okay, power of the sun, channel through me. But nothing happened. Ugh. Let me try again. Maybe it's the pronunciation thing. Power of the sun, channel through me. Still nothing. No, no, you're not believing in it. Do it once more. Ooh, power of the sun, channel through me. Suddenly, I released a large fire blast. Yes, I did it. You have done well, Bronzo, but your mind is still weak. Gorgana is trying to break in. Let's move on to a more sacred area. Helios took me to a tall perching area. In order to fortify your mind, you must meditate. Close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Feel the air flow in and out of your lungs. I am one with myself. Oh, am I supposed to like repeat that? All right. I am one with myself. Excellent. Your mind should be stronger now. Since you have completed your training, you have earned some new armor. Then Helios gave me the ingots to craft some Horizonite armor. I made a helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. Now I feel protected. Always remember, you are welcome here anytime. Thanks, Helios. You're like the dad I never had. Because you know, I don't have parents. I think. I just came out of a volcano. Yeah, you get it. See ya. On days 14 through 17, I returned home and saw that the base had been given a major upgrade. Wow, this place looks awesome. Ash, did you do all this? Nice work. Thank you, but I can't take all the credit. Juby helped out too. That's great to hear. I love some teamwork. Oh, oh, we should come up with a team name. Like, uh, like Team Rock Phoenix Monkey. No, 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 not that. How about Team Super Best Friends? Best Friends? Uh, maybe another time. You're right, you're right. We can workshop it later. So, how did it go? Did you learn anything about those shadowy guys? Oh, it went pretty good. Yeah, I found out that some evil creatures from some other dimension got into ours, and I'm the only one who can defeat them. What the? Why would you say it went pretty good? That doesn't sound good at all. Well, 
you're gonna need some iron tools then. Luckily for you, I just so happen to have gotten you some. Aw, Juby, you got me a present? We really are super best friends after all. I went to grab the tools, but when I touched them, they started to do damage to me. Ah! Get those things away from me. Man, I forgot I'm like allergic to iron. That stuff really hurts me. But don't worry, Juby, it's not your fault. Maybe next time though, when you're getting me a best friend present, just do like a gift card. Just then, the Hydra appeared with some of the Shadow Fiends. Juby, Ash, go ahead, I got this. Using my new Fire Blast ability, I was able to defeat all the Shadow Monsters, but there was still one more villain I had to fight, the Hydra. I hit him with my fire and he retaliated with a bite, poisoning me. Despite his venom weakening me, I was still stronger than him. He began to slither away. We may have won this time, but this is the last you'll see. Oh my gosh, stop using S words, please. Just get on with it. We'll be back and next time we'll be even stronger. The Hydra managed to escape. I flew after him for a bit when all of a sudden, I hit something, but I couldn't see anything. It was an invisible wall. Huh? That's weird. What's going on? An entire invisible cage appeared before my eyes. Whoa, iron bars. No, I can't touch them or they'd hurt me. And then a crazy looking wizard teleported in front of me. <laughs> what an exquisite little creature you are. A lucky day for me indeed. <laughs> You'll be coming home with me. What? Uh, I may not have had parents to teach me stranger danger, but I know not to follow crazy old teleporting men back to their houses. I won't let you take me. Huh? Quiet, you. The wizard cast a spell on me and I fell asleep. I woke up in a random house during days 18 to 21. There before me was the old wizard. Wakey, wakey, pretty bird. Why am I here? Let me go. I'm afraid I can't do that. I've always wanted a beautiful exotic bird, and I've just decided you're my pet now. Uh, that's a no for me. I decided to unleash my flames and burn the wizard's house down. What? You're a phoenix? The wizard's house turned into ashes, and soon there was nothing. I'm sorry for capturing you. Here, here take these diamonds as an apology, as well as some uh, special berries. Ooh, Juby would love these. Mmm, they taste great. But I have bigger problems on my hand than you. I need to stop Gorgana, the Shadow Queen. Gorgana? She's returned? I can help you put her back into the Shadow Realm. I accept. Do you need help rebuilding your house? I'm okay. I'm a wizard, remember? I'll just use my magic to rebuild my house. But before I do, I want a pet fish. You need to stop taking creatures without permission. Wait, that's it. You can help me capture a super rare Hydra. What Hydra? What value does it hold? Oh, you'll love him. He's a three-headed snake and is poisonous. I love snakes and poison. <laughs> Great, then we'll set up a trap. I made it back home with the wizard on days 22 through 25, and Juby was there to greet me. I was so worried about you, Bronto. I know, last time you saw me, I was chasing that Hydra. Where did you go? I saw a strange figure sneaking around after all the chaos, and the next thing I knew, you and the figure were gone after everything had settled down. Wait, he looks a lot like the figure. Oh. Me? It was all a misunderstanding. The wizard here caught me in one of his traps while I was chasing the Hydra, but he let me go, eventually. I guess you could say that's what happened. <laughs> I don't trust him. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm just trying to right my wrongs. Will you ever forgive an old man? Not anytime soon. Well, it doesn't matter. We need the wizard's help. And guess what he gave me as an apology? I handed Juby the berries the wizard gave me and then told him about the diamonds. I'm gonna finally make that tool set you needed me to have. That's great, Bronzo. These berries are gonna be so good for a snack later. They're my favorite type. I guess I can forgive you, wizard guy. <laughs> good, 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 good. Now we need to make that trap. What trap? I caught Juby up with the plan to set a trap for the Hydra. That sounds like a great plan. Of course it is. I came up with it. The wizard and I dug a deep and wide hole for the Hydra to fall into. Then we covered it with scaffolding and some moss so he wouldn't see it coming. 
The wizard was also a redstone genius and connected a pressure plate to a piston so when the time was right, Monty would fall right into the hole. That looks great! That serpent doesn't stand a chance. I noticed it started to get dark, so I turned to the wizard. Yo wizard! Yo wizard! You want to stay the night? Uh oh! The wizard had already conjured up a tent for themselves to sleep in. Yep, that's why I made this, silly. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, good night. Sleep tight and don't let those bed bugs bite. During days 26 to 29, I was asleep, but something felt off. I was me, but different, like a past version of myself. What the heck is this place? I searched for a bit and found some stone statues made of shady substance. Is this what Gorgana wants to do to everyone? As I was investigating, Gorgana appeared before me. I won! I've killed the great phoenix! What are you talking about? I'm right here! It seemed like she wasn't talking directly to me, but a past version of me. This isn't the end. I'm gonna stop you for good, Gorgana! I will turn the overworld into a new shadow dimension. That won't happen. I have the power of the sun god on my side. Just then, a bright flash of light beamed out from my past body and blinded me, and a loud crash followed as I awoke. That was a crazy vision. I felt much stronger in that world than I do now. How long have I been fighting Gorgana? Just then, another loud crash and yelling outside. Come back here. The Hydra! The Hydra's back! The trap! The trap! I rushed outside and found the Hydra chasing Juby around the base. I found the snake, but please help! How about you help me by getting in my stomach? I'm coming, Juby! I flew near the bridge we made for the trap, and Juby followed the signal. The reptile chased them completely unaware. Once they were close enough, I gave Juby the signal. Now, Juby, now! Juby ran over the pressure plate, breaking the scaffolding right under the serpent. Got him! What the? How dare you drop me? Let me out! Hey, wizard! Get over here! The wizard came out of his tent and ran up beside me, already excited. Oh, is it snake time? Yep, here's your new pet. Wait, pet? You think I'm a pet? You awful pest. I'll bring your head to my Gorgon master for this. Hold on, did you say Gorgon? As in Gorgana? Uh, I didn't mean to say that. I turned to the wizard with a new plan in mind. Sorry, but you'll have to wait a bit. I've got a few questions for this Hydra first. Oh, darn. Well, can I help interrogate them at least? We questioned the Hydra during days 34 to 37. Wait, so your name is Monty? Yeah, what about it? That's the last thing I'm answering. I heard Monty's stomach growl, and I knew I could bribe him with food. Sounds like you want some nice and juicy steak. All you gotta do is tell me more. Ah, uh, fine. There's a shadow realm that Gordana came from. She decided she was bored of her world, and she had more goals than to sit around and do nothing. She began going to other worlds and conquering them. So she's literally just a shady person. Tough crowd. Anyways, why are you helping her, Monty? You're an overworld creature, so you shouldn't care about what's happening. I was a tiny, powerless and starving rattlesnake before Gorgana showed up and found me. She's part snake herself, so she took pity on me and raised me to be a monstrous reptile who could eat whatever I fancied in exchange for more power and all the meals I wanted. I would provide intel and spy for her. Is there anything else I need to know? That's it, that's all of it. No food for liars, spill the beans. Okay, fine. She's only after you because of your abilities. Once a phoenix is strong enough, their flames become so pure and strong that they can reverse the effects of a shadow curse. Gorjana is aware of this and plans to use the Iron Sword Excalibur to kill you permanently. Hmm, that must have been what that bright flash in my dream was. Now can I eat since that's all I know? I keep my word. Wizard, it's time to take your new pet home. Pet, what do you mean by that? How long now, we have much to discuss about your itinerary. Just like that, the wizard and Monty teleported away. On days 38 to 41, I did some flying around to clear up my head and try to think of a plan to stop Gorgana. 
This feels impossible. While flying around, I spotted the same village from before, the one I accidentally set on fire. I wonder how they are holding up here. I flew down and cautiously took a look around. The villagers had worked really hard to rebuild their homes, but now they are made of cobblestone to be fireproof. While I was snooping around, a villager runs up to me. You, you're the bird that burnt down my home. Do you know how much that cost the town? Firebirds weren't on our insurance plans. I panicked and tried to calm them down. I'm sorry, I wanted to see if you were doing all right. I swear, I didn't mean to burn the place down. No, no, I'm sorry I yelled at you. We should both calm down. I need to thank you, actually. You might have burnt down our homes, but your flames actually saved us from certain doom. Oh, well, you're welcome. I'm sorry for being so rude and chasing you off before. Don't sweat it. I would have done the same. I told the villager that I understood his frustrations at the time, and I'd be upset too. So you need any help rebuilding? That'd be great. We also decided to switch to stone, just in case something like that happened again. Smart, but luckily I now have my powers under control. Though it doesn't hurt to be careful. <laughs> well, let's get to work. I helped the villagers continue rebuilding their homes, and now everything was made out of non-flammable materials, all different types of ores. They all seemed to like their new homes, but soon it started to get dark as we were finishing up. Thank you, Bronzo. I'm glad we finished before nighttime. Why? What happens at night? That. Just then, shadow creatures emerged from the darkness to try and take the town again. Attack! Oh, no, you don't. I asked the villagers to wait inside their homes. Don't have to ask us twice. The battle began. I started to use my fire powers and my new diamond sword on the shadow minions, killing them one by one. However, they were getting stronger and there was some type of new monsters in their ranks. You never stood a chance against the fire phoenix. Eventually, I was able to take them all out and I noticed that I was getting better at using my abilities. Thank you for saving us again. Here, take this food as a token of our gratitude. Oh, it was no problem at all, but I could definitely use a bite to eat. Thank you. I told them I'd do whatever I could to stop the shadow creatures from attacking again. I'm gonna stop them for good, soon. We are so grateful. The entire village started cheering for me. I basked in my glory before taking my exit. I went back home, feeling a lot better about things than I did earlier. I'd just gotten home when the wizard appeared. Bronzo, I'm afraid we have a problem. Problem? What's wrong? It's that snake. My new pet, he escaped, and he set my house on fire too. What? How'd that happen? Oh, well, he was storming around my house when I was trying to put him back in his cage. He broke my sniffing area, spreading the lava around and whoosh, crispy house yet again. No, I mean, how did he escape? Ah, that. I couldn't pet him because his cage was in the way. So you let him out? Well, yeah. He's my pet. I wanted to pet him. Oh, this isn't good. He's going to tell Gorgana where we are. Calm down, calm down. It's not that bad. You'll just have to get stronger faster. Uh, yeah, that's bad. What am I going to do to speed up the process even more? I'm already rushing things as is. Have you tried jumping into lava yet? Excuse me? Well, you're a fire creature. Perhaps the heat of the lava could help speed up the process. I don't think that's how that works. I should probably get some more help from Helios. Maybe he has more advice he could give me. Oh yes, yes, don't listen to the crazy old wizard. I ignored his comment and yelled back as I took off once again. See you later, old man. During days 46 through 49, I made my way back to Helios. There you are, I need your help. What's wrong? I need to get stronger, and I have to do it fast. Have you tried jumping in lava? Seriously, you mean the wizard was right about me getting stronger from diving into the lava? Oh no no, it won't actually do that. But you can use the lava as a type of connection to your past lives. Meditating in the lava may give you the answer. I guess I'll try it out then. I don't have to go into the nether, do I? Unfortunately, yes. That's where the lava is the hardest after all. Ugh, I hate the nether. Nether, or shadow corruption, which is worse. 
Fine, I'll go. Then you can use the portal nearby to speed up your journey. That helps a little. Thank you, Helios. I flew outside and around the building, I found a portal right where he mentioned. From days 50 to 53, I entered the nether and found a nearby pool of lava. All right, let's get this over with. I dived into the pool of lava. What the Helios? It's not working. I flew up and went over to another pool to try again. Ugh, nothing's happening. I tried to swim around the pool to try again. You're in the wrong pit, you dodo bird. What do you mean? How do you know what I'm trying to do? My name is Scoria. I'm an ancient creature much like yourself. I knew the phoenix would come again one day with the havoc in the overworld. Therefore, I know which lava source you must go into. Okay, then help me find it. I followed Scoria to another fortress during days 54 to 57. We need a few blaze rods for the key to your connection. I'm not sure what that means, but I'll follow the instructions. Together with the help of Scoria, we took down tons of blazes and gathered a lot of blaze rods, enough to make a blaze core. That's it, I got it. Good, follow me. Together, we left the fortress, and she led me to a strange structure. Okay, now put the blaze core on the pedestal in the center. Okay, but why is this lava locked away? It was done by yourself centuries ago. If you want the answer to why, then go ask yourself. Oh, well, okay. Thank you for the help, Scoria. It was my pleasure. Oh, and tell Helios I said hello. Dang, wait, you know Helios? With that, she was gone. Dang, that golem moves fast. I went inside to see the pedestal Scoria mentioned. I put the blaze core where it was meant to be, and the wall opened up. Lava began to fall into the pool. It was awesome. I submerged myself into the lava fall. Here goes nothing. I closed my eyes and went into a dream of my past. On days 58 to 61, I was in some kind of dream realm. Past me had to be around here somewhere, right? Hey! Bronzo! Fire Phoenix! Where are you? Unfortunately, there was no answer. I flew around for a little while until I heard a voice calling out to me. I got closer until I approached a ledge and someone appeared before me. It was, well, it was me. Hey, can you hear me? <laughs> I look pretty cool. Oh, if it isn't me. You can hear me. Wow, this is kind of weird. So, you want some answers, right? I can tell by the look on your face. Yes, of course I do. I explained to my past self everything that happened. The Gorgon, the wizard, Helios, and now the lava. So that's what I'm dealing with. Why are you so frustrated though? I have to move all the magical lava. You know, the lava with magical properties to a secure location because of the Gorgon's minions. They keep trying to come here and poison it to stop me from using it. I'm lucky the nether is too hot for them to stay, or else it would be even more troublesome than it already is. Ah, uh, that explains the security measures. What? Never mind. Can you help me? Of course I can. You're me. Just do me a favor, though. Ditto. You're me. Of course I'll do you a favor. All right, what should I do? Hold still. Excuse me? What? <laughs> Relax. This is a dream, so this won't really hurt you, technically. But doing it will trigger some of my buried abilities. It'll help you attune to me, your old self. I did as past me asked. I knew best, it seemed. I held still as my past self blasted some ancient power at me. It seemed to work. Basically, I felt myself grow. Wow! I also had 10 more hearts and an even stronger ability. Perfect. Now keep up your training and you'll be at my level again in no time. Will do, past me. On days 62 to 65, I woke up from my dream. I quickly left the nether. Boy, was I feeling super rejuvenated by that power up. Just as I was heading home to give everyone the good news, I came across some more shadow creatures wreaking havoc. They were attacking another village. Huh, well, I guess it's time to keep good on my promise and get some training in. Ah, take this! I launched a volley of attacks, and wow, this new ability was awesome. These balls of magma were crazy strong. Most of them went down pretty easy, but one of them seemed special. It looked like it was using one of Gorgana's attacks. I quickly got rid of all the shadow creatures and cornered the special one. Hey, tell me how you got those powers and tell me where Gorgana is storing hers. Gorgana, give me power for sacrifice self to become shadow. What? Speak clearly. I, I did it to be spared by her and rewarded, but 
I regret it now. The source to her power, it's in her shadow realm. And if you have any hope of reaching it, you'll need a wizard's help. Maybe, maybe if you destroy it, I'll be saved if you spare me now. Well, luckily, I already know a wizard. All right, little shadow creature, I'll spare you. Thank you, my name is Blake. Okay, Blake, thanks for the info. I gotta go now. Don't do anything silly now. See ya. On days 66 to 70, I returned to the wizard's house so I could ask him how to get to the shadow realm. I arrived just in time to catch that his house was on fire again. The wizard was outside, just watching it and shaking his head. Really? Again? Did you catch another fire creature? What did I say about capturing creatures without permission? Oh, no. No, 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 no. This time, I got him to agree. I found a little fish that said he'd come along, but little did I realize that he was a firefish and a guise. My, oh, my, he had quite a bad temper, too. Oh, well, sorry about that, then. But can you help me out, though? Why, of of course! How can I be of service to the great and mighty Phoenix? I need help getting to the Shadow Realm. Why on earth would you want to go to that dreadful place? Not only is it evil, but they are severely lacking in cakes. I need to go there and destroy the device Gorgana used to spread shadows. This whole business is getting too out of hand. Ah, I see. Very well. To get there, you must go to the waters of a cave that has been shrouded by the darkness and submerge yourself in it. But first, I must cast a cloaking spell on you so you will not be rejected by the very fiber of the realm. It expels all bright light in the moment it is detected. I let the wizard cast the spell on me. Thanks. I'm going to go look for that cave now. Don't let your house catch on fire again. After some searching on days 71 to 74, I finally found a cave surrounded by the shadow curse. And boy, was it dark. I explored inside the cave until I came across the underground pond. Okay, just as the wizard said to do. Gotta jump in. This is gonna sting, isn't it? Fine, here goes nothing. I jumped into the water. Just as I thought, I started being withered. Luckily, I wasn't getting hurt too much. Then I was teleported away. Sure enough, I emerged from the pond in the shadow realm. I quickly exited the water so I would stop taking damage, then started to look around at the place. It was really dark and shadowy. The only light seemed to be coming from bioluminescent plants. Huh, I thought this place would look much spookier. It's actually kind of cool. I started to explore. The water from the pond had weakened me some, so I had to be careful while I got my strength back. After a little while, I noticed a light from a beacon in the distance. I bet that's my target. I started heading towards it, but I made sure to fly low to the ground just in case I blew my cover. I saw a camp with some shadow creatures sitting around a campfire. I decided to avoid them since I still felt weak, but one of the creatures noticed me and quickly alerted the others. The Phoenix, he rises. There's no time to run or hide. I gotta fight this time. On days 75 to 78, I was fighting the shadow creatures. They seemed to be a lot stronger in their own realm. It didn't help that I wasn't as strong currently. Then, accidentally, I landed on their campfire. I felt the flames rejuvenate me. They were helping me out. My strength came back in full, and I was finally able to overpower them. Ha! Take that! After finishing up the battle, I continued on towards the beacon. Eventually, I made it to where the beacon's light was, and right as I was noticing, Noticing some odd looking blocks, a much larger shadow monster appeared and startled me. Whoa! Don't you know it's rude to sneak up on people? I fought off the shadow monster a bit. I threw out some fire blasts and some flamethrowers, but it didn't seem to be affecting the monster much. It had some sort of wither attack and a bite, just like Monty's. I needed to get out of this situation, so distracting them with steak was the best chance I had. Hey, catch this! Huh? Ooh, delicious meat! As they were busy eating, I accidentally backed into the odd blocks I was checking out earlier, and I phased right through them. The monster turned back around, and I was gone. Huh? Where'd he go? I figured it was a good idea to check out whatever this was. I started to cautiously follow the mysterious tunnel. On days 79 through 82, I followed the tunnels and eventually I found the beacon and the source of the shadows. Found ya. I used my flame powers to destroy it. The moment it was broken, the ground began to shake violently. Oh no, it's caving in. I've got to get out of here. It was a good thing I already knew the path back outside. I was able to go back past the disappearing door. The shadow 
monster from earlier was still there, and they were running around panicking. They didn't seem to care about me anymore, so I just flew past them. Good riddance. I hurried back to the pond before things could get any worse and made it back to the overworld. I began to see parts of the overworld going back to normal. Now Gorgana should be much weaker. Hey you, I'm back to normal. Thank you so much. I'm happy for you. Why don't you come over to my place? Sounds like a plan to me. We arrived back at the base and I introduced Blake to everyone. Even the wizard was there. This is Blake. He will be staying here for now on. We need to make him a place to sleep first. No need to fret. Watch this. Give me a hoe. Give me a high. Give me a hat. There you go. Our own little place to stay. I appreciate that old spooky man. Nice! This looks awesome! You all have fun now. I'm heading off to bed. Before you go, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to show you something. Okay, but make it quick. I'm sleepy. The wizard led me somewhere during days 83 to 86, but he wouldn't tell me anything about where we were going. He felt more serious than usual. Come on, give me some hints. No, we must stay focused. We're getting close. I saw a jungle that had been corrupted in shadow. I felt sad knowing that life within was being corrupted. Why did you bring me here? She wants a word with you. She? What are you talking about? Just then, Gorgana slithered up and I was surrounded by iron bars once more. We meet again and in much better circumstances for myself. Why did you do this, wizard? Why are you helping her? He didn't respond, and that's when I knew he was being mind-controlled by Gorgana. I have found Excalibur. You're lucky I'm not worthy to wield it myself or you'd be dead already. But I may have found the perfect candidate, though you're still causing me trouble. So, I'm just gonna keep you locked up here for now. You won't keep me here forever. I'll break free. I tried to escape, but the iron hurt me. <laughs> I better go and see my future warrior now. Have fun with your mind-controlled wizard. On days 87 to 90, I was still trying to get out of the cage. I took out my pickaxe and tried to mine it, but the wizard shocked me with electricity in response. Let me out! Come on, wizard. I know you don't actually want to do this. Let's see. If you set me free, I'll buy you a pizza. Pizza? Bad. Not a pizza fan. Okay, how about you have free access to my private volcano for a month? The view there is to kill for. No volcano! No matter what I said, the wizard wasn't budging, and I was running out of ideas. You know what? If you don't let me out, I think I'm gonna burn your house down again. <laughs> what? what? That is very unkind of you, my poor house! The wizard shot me with another spell, but I got exactly what I wanted, a reaction from him. I was finally getting somewhere. That reminds me, what pet did you want next? I know that fire fish didn't work out for you. Maybe something new is in order. Sure enough, asking about his pets seemed to snap him right out of it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so glad you asked. Let's see, I think I would love to have a pet frog. Yes, 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 oh, no, wait, perhaps? A parrot. Those are simply divine. Okay, that's great. Now, can you let me out, please? Oh, yes, most certainly. You have my sincere apologies for that. The wizard then proceeded to break the bars. I need you to go gather the others and warn them about what just happened. I'm going after Gorgana. I turned around and began to fly as fast as I could in the direction that Gorgana left. I needed to catch up and find out who else she planned to use to wield the great sword. I managed to catch up to Gorgana on days 91 through 93. I followed her carefully from a distance to see where she was headed. Eventually, I could see a mysterious dark building up ahead and watched Gorgana slither inside. Is this where she's been hiding? I made my way quietly to the front door and peeked inside. There in the building stood Gorgana and Monty talking to each other. There was a cage nearby with someone inside. Wait, it's Blake! They recaptured him! Thank you, dear Monty, for grabbing the traitor while the bird was away. We're now ready to finish destroying the phoenix's birthplace and kill him for good. You're very welcome, master. I'll be pleased to be rid of that flaming nuisance. I refuse to help you. I don't care if I'm worthy. I'm not touching any weapon if it's to help you fight. 
Gorgana suddenly threw a splash potion on Blake that seemed to make him dizzy. What? What did you do? No! I still won't do it. I... Ugh. <laughs> oh, you fool. You have no choice. The sword chose you. And now you must repent for deserting me. The potion's effect took hold, and Blake transformed into a dread lich. Are you ready to cooperate, finally? Yes, master. Blake was under her control again. No! How could she? Monty seemed to notice my outburst. I tried to take off before I was caught, but he had stormed out of the house to confront me before I had the chance. You again? How did you escape? I flew away fast, and Monty chased after me from below. During days 94 to 96, I was still flying away, and I stumbled back to my base. Guys, guys, Monty is back! Just then, the wizard stepped in and shocked the Hydra, stopping it in his tracks. Whoa, how did you do that? Gorgana's mind control left behind some extra magic I could use. Monty quickly woke back up and was even more upset. I'm gonna kill all of you. I fought him with all of my might. I used a combination of my attacks and struck him before he could get too close. The wizard helped as well and used his new lightning powers from the sidelines. Monty was persistent, but I felt the flames of my body get hotter than ever. This is the end for you, Monty. I'm gonna cook you alive. I got so hot that I unleashed a powerful flame blast that disintegrated Monty to ash. The Gorgon's right-hand man was no more. You've done it. You've purified your flames. I was excited, but then remembered what I saw earlier. Gorgana has Blake, and she's going to use him to wield Excalibur. You'll be fine. I think it's time for that speech now. On days 97 to 98, I had Juby, the wizard, and Ash all gathered in front of me. Okay, everyone, we've lived in this darkness casted by Gorgana and her minions for far too long. She held the world and its poor people in her grasp and caused too much suffering and hardship for us to allow it to continue any longer. I'm going to bring the light back to the overworld and free everyone from her reign of terror. Is there any way we can help you put an end to Gorgana? I'm so glad you asked, Juby. You can help me bring back the light by liking the video, subscribing, and leaving a comment on which character you liked the most. And as always, don't forget to ring the bell for video updates. Will do! I'm doing it right now! For sure! I'm ahead of all of you! I already subbed a month ago! I feel confident now. Thank you guys! You have all helped me so much already. It's time for me to end this so everyone can be happy again. Bye everyone, see you all soon. Everyone cheered me on as I flew off to fight the Shadow Gorgon, Gorgana. I was finally gonna end this. On day 99, I remembered what Gorgana said about my birthplace. I returned back to the volcano. I better hurry up and get inside this volcano. Waiting inside was Gorgana beside Blake. I tried to call out to Blake, but he didn't respond. Come on, Blake, I know you can hear me. <laughs> oh, don't mind him. He's just a bit deaf currently. No, Phoenix, welcome back to your birth and death. It was day 100 and Gorgana handed Blake Excalibur. He was ready to fight and kill me. You don't have to do this. It's no use. Only my voice can reach his ears. I've learned my mistakes in the past. I swear, I'll break the curse and free him. <laughs> Blake, kill him. I was forced to fight Blake. Excalibur did tons of damage to me, and I had to be mindful as I approached Blake. I shot him with my flames, but his new form persisted. I tried my best to knock him down without killing him, but nothing was working. Gorgana sat by the whole time, just watching as I struggled against her champion. You coward! If you want a battle, then just do it yourself! I blasted my sun power on Gorgana and forced her to fight against me. Ah! Burns! Make it stop! As Gorgana screamed to make it stop, the spell on Blake also ended. Huh? What's going on? Run, Blake! Go as fast as you can! You got it. See ya. Bye! 
Cheap little! Get over here! Gorgana tried to launch her power at me, creating some stone statues to block me and trying to turn me into stone as well. Luckily, her attempts couldn't work against a fully powered phoenix. She fought with incredible rage, but it was too late for her. I was already too strong. It was time I released the most powerful attack I could on the awful Gorgon. This is the end for you, Gorgana! Good riddance! I unleashed a blinding light that killed Gorgana and erased all the shadows from the overworld. Brand 